time is 2.45. Let's go. I'm not trying to be Lord of the Rings. Uh, the camera was looking at me. As long as you can see the Leica logo, you're fine. So let's go ahead and see how this connects. Previously, I was standing there at the corner. I've moved right here. These are my bed risers because the Leica tripod is too short. It's got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful space to scan here. And unfortunately, I will not be able to complete it today. I'll have to come back. I gotta get kids from school. I'm gonna be late as it is. But sometimes for science, you've gotta be late. The point of this video is to show you how long this, video, this uh, scan will take. And to let you watch this little guy. Like a... I'll show you the inside if I can. I think right now it's doing photos or something because there's a little mirror inside you can kind of see and it moves around and uh, I think it's like a mirror I'm assuming it is and it reminds me a lot of a Roomba you know those little vacuums that go around and uh, clean up stuff off your floor that take about an hour to clean your floor when you can do it yourself about five minutes that's the little thing inside reminds me of now you might ask yourself, why am I doing HDR2 when I can do HDR4? Well, because I'm out of time. I've done actually quite a few HDR5 shots, four or five, I can't remember now. And I figured I'd do the last couple ones of my of the day in the lowest quality and compare them and see how it turns out. And to see if it is necessary to use highest quality or if I can get away with using low quality and if this difference is the same. Did I say I started this at 2.45? It's 2.47 and we're at the halfway point. Here is the uh, Roomba effect that I told you about. Kind of... Actually, you can't see it. I can see it, but on my camera, the frame rate's uh, not good enough to see. It's not a preview. But on the inside, the little thing is spinning around. The little guy's still going around. This guy's cute. I gotta tell you, for as much as these things cost, it's tiny. You'll be so surprised. It's tiny, it's heavy, it's like a, a brick. And um, again, tripod's weird. It folds really small, fits in a bag really easily, but the height, oh my gosh, it's so low. If they would make a fold-up version that goes higher, that would be great. Even if they did a little pole that attaches to the middle pole so you could just extend it up higher, that would be great. And maybe that exists and I don't know it. By the way, I am yelling because it's so windy out here. It's another good reason to field test in a day like today is because we're going to see how this thing performs with wind. I'm on the rooftop of an apartment building in downtown Dallas, by the way. All the buildings you see across the way are actually across the highway and we're on the sixth floor. I've scanned the entire inside of the building on a separate date with the Pro 1 camera last year. I began the scan today, scanning that covered area. Oh, it finished. Oh my gosh, when did it finish? I think it just stopped, and there you have it. It took four minutes. Not bad.